Dr. Erica with Rosy Research. Let's take a look at hot versus cold water in an Elka seltzer rocket. So what gives? Did he think hot water and cold water would be the same when I put them in there and flipped it over, or do you think one will react faster? Well, to make the gas, to make the Elka seltzer and the water combine to make the gas that ends up building up all the pressure in our tube and popping it, we need things to collide. Heat is sort of a measure of how fast things are running around. So when I put water and Alka-Seltzer in there, if I have really lazy water that's just kind of walking around, every now and then it's gonna bump into that Alka-Seltzer tablet and react and make a bubble of gas. But if I have it running really fast, every which way, bouncing off the walls and coming through, it's gonna hit that Alka-Seltzer tablet so much faster. And it's gonna have a faster reaction. And the faster we're running, just like if you go run down the street really fast, your body gets warm. The warmer any sort of liquid is, the faster things are moving in it. So the faster rocket to pop is gonna be your hot water because it's reacting with that Alka-Seltzer. It's bumping into it more and it's gonna react faster, make that gas faster. So this is a really fun, quick experiment you can do at home. You can just do ice water in one film tube and boiling water in the other and you can flip them over and try to pop them up and you can see how hard it can be with really hot water. Thanks for learning with us. This is Dr. Erica signing off.